Oh, what? You can actually jump back onto the wall? I don't think that was a mechanic in Jedi Fallen Order, where you can actually get back onto the wall like that. Yeah, so it, it was a keybinding thing. That's what led to the soft lock, because I didn't have any way to lock onto the enemies, apparently. That is so dumb. Nice work. You can fight. Yeah, you too. I don't speak binary, but I hear you beating team effort. Let's try up that way. Quit reading my mind, Jedi. All set. Here we go. Yeah, so I didn't have any problems with the key bindings actually in Jedi Fallen Order, but here with the amount of actions you're able to do, it's very different in terms of difficulty. Local directory? Directories help organize and visualize the flow of goods through the planet. Currently, Imperial expansion has impacted the import business, resulting in shortages throughout the Coruscant underworld. This place is a ghost town. Coruscant's has it though? Doesn't really feel like it. Still feels identical to how it was back in Clone Wars. Speaking of trouble, let's avoid that patrol. Agreed. That is a lot of enemies. Desi's Noodles, a popular chain in the Coruscant underworld. There are a few legitimate reasons to venture down to the lower levels, but popular opinion declares that Desi's one of them. I hear a probe droid. And it's stuck in the wall for some reason. Oh, what, BD-1 can't hack them? And did Bo just damage me? Or was that just a suicide explosion? That 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 was stupid. But why can't BD-1 hack probe droids? Oh, oh wait, they had to be low on health, I believe. Not full health. Weapons free. I keep pressing the wrong button. Enemies down. Oh. Oh, what is this? Wow, he's really developed the slow, hasn't he? Oh, what? You have that at the start? If you're sprinting, you automatically deflect attacks? Oh, that is incredible! I'm gonna die. Oh, god damn it. So you actually have that ability at the start of this game? That's incredible. Yeah, but there's a lot of situations on this game that demand you use the, uh... The double-bladed lightsaber. Combat is going to be very difficult to handle in this game. That's for sure. Looks like a fight. God, probe droids fire the, their blasters so fast. And that last hit on the uh, double-bladed lightsaber combo, it comes out without you even pressing it, because it holds your input. God dang it! 
Ah, oh, this this is really awkward. Another one of these shards. You do not have a lot of block stamina to handle all that. And it's suicided! God damn it! That's like the perfect counter to force pull. So I gotta be very careful when I use force pull against probe droids when they're low on health. I think BD wants you to knock that down. <laughs> now I'm taking orders from my droid. Some help, please. Ah, back to normal. The Emperor turned the Jedi Temple into his palace. Yeah, that's what the what? Does best. Take something that's his palace. I thought they. The I thought it was a smoldering old ruin. The Jedi Temple on Coruscant. I didn't realize the Emperor used it as his palace when he's when he's on Coruscant. Dogs? Hmm. Got some company, and it isn't friendly. We'll do this together. I hope we don't get these abilities lost at some point in the game. That would really suck. Okay, there's a sh shortcut back here, apparently. Yeah, this game is definitely harder than uh, Jedi Fallen Order right now. Although I feel like it's just because they put you in combat situations that aren't the best with the current gameplay you have. It's us or them. God. Oh, God! Killing everyone! Get back here, coward! A boat is pretty good as an AI companion. Nice work. Although you don't get experience when you kill these guys as, uh... As Bode. Good work in that scrap. Maybe we should take up prospecting, huh, BD? I gotta say, it is very hard to tell where you are going. I feel like in Jedi Fall- Oh, shit! <laughs> I need the single lightsaber. I'm pressing R1 again. Should have expected that. Shadow 
Leave some for me. There we go. Really didn't like you. Don't think he was a fan of you either. Hmm. I don't see a way up. Let's look around. Find something, buddy? What's he got? Ascension cable. Worker season for construction now. Man, that would have been helpful during your time on Braca, huh? Uh, cable's a bit frayed. Not in bad shape. Should be a quick patch job. Hmm. So I heard you fought the Empire on Kashyyyk. Yeah, he did. Yeah. I attacked a walker and broke open an Imperial prison camp single-handed. That one was beating. Just the two of you. And some friends. What about you, new guy? Win this for the credits? Credits never hurt. But, uh... I have a daughter. Got it. I don't get to see her as often as I'd like, but at least I can provide for her. Must be hard. Being away from her? Mm. Is her mother? She's gone. The Empire took her from us. Sorry. Taking a lot of people. More every day. <clears throat> you ever use one of those? I'll figure it out. It was a scrapper on Brock. Like I said. You've been through a lot for someone so young. Just trying to survive. Aren't we all? Q credits. That's why it's called Jedi Survivor. Oh, now it gives us the database entry. So you use L2 to use the uh, ascension cable. Oh, you have access to the lightsaber throw. Nice. So slow is now mapped to L3 and R3? So it's now like a special ability rather than a common accessible uh, force ability. Hmm. So Bo Dakuna, a freelance gunslinger with no love for the Empire. Bo is the most recent member of Cal's crew. He reveals to Cal that what he's really fighting for is a better life for his daughter Kata. Hmm. I don't really understand why this uh, data bank doesn't have information from Jedi Fallen Order. Would've been nice to have all that. Ascension cables holding. Good, I got a feeling you're gonna need it. I actually saw this one of the earlier areas. This uh, anchor point. We can use that terminal to rotate the billboard. That wasn't so hard. Back to the bridge. Hope the crew's doing all right. If Gabs gets bored, she might slice into Imperial comms for fun. Is she that good? Gabs. Too good. Syndicate trained, but got on the wrong side of her employers. Bravo used to fly for the Republic. The military. That explains a lot. I have to start working with Coop and Liz. Cantina on Norset. Bounty hunter got the drop on me. Twins threw him down a mine shaft. Friends ever since. How many members has he recruited already? Why do we not see them? That seems very odd to skip out on introducing us to uh, more crew members. Solid crew, Kestis. Hope I'm pulling my weight. You got us to the senator. Sounds like he wants to double my cut. That right, BD? So the. Ascension Cable works a lot like the grapple in Sekiro. We have to get in close in order for the, the detection to register. Yeah. Good to see you. Hey, Bravo. No job ever goes according to plan, does it? What fun would that be? How's the new guy doing? Bit of a talker, but good in a fight. Huh, I'll take it. Gab slice the yacht. Senator can't call for help, but he's locked in pretty tight. You try knocking? Hmm. Any sign of Cal? Batisa! Batisa! 
I just bet the twins of the senator had you in there stuffed and mounted. Hey, I want to cut at that. Hey, Cut. If you die, I get the mantis, right? Sorry, Gabs. All right, yeah, he still has the mantis. Hmm. That was the name of the What's ship. The that yacht is signed our RMC. The senator has military intel on his personal terminal here. Could give us a fighting chance against the Empire. Problem is, Captain secure blast doors. Even the twins can't pry those bad boys open. How are we getting in? You fellas got the yacht down, Jetpack. Then I'll work my slicer magic. With my lovely assistant. A slicing his beady sting. Be back before you know it. These twins remind me of the uh, two Gamorians and Boba Fett. They were awesome. Let's hope these Klaatuinians actually hold up. So were these people Cal recruited, or are they Saw Guerrero's people? It just seems so odd to just have us start out not even introducing them to us. I'm amazed the Empire hasn't already sent reinforcements. Go this way. Time for me and my lovely assistant to show you how it's done. Let's go reintroduce ourselves to the senator. And he's going to be gone. Or not? I knew we had unfinished business. Give us your terminal passcode. Impossible! They'll execute me! Oh, there's an echo here. Now, which tool of negotiation should I start with first? Didn't you call me sharp tongued? This one is blunt. Well, it will have to do. Hmm. Daho Sehan, the senator from Utapau, was notorious for bending rival politicians to his will by any means necessary. Wow, just like the Trade Federation. The Trade Federation used a lot of uh, violent tactics and uh, espionage to sway the Galactic Senate in favor of uh, supporting the Clone Wars. Rather than making peace with the Separatists. Maybe I could change his mind. He's gonna use the mind trick. You will give me access to your terminal. I can't. What? What's this? Uh. You can trust us. We're all friends here. Unlock it. We're all friends here. I can trust you. This is very unusual. 
there was never this reassurance of the uh, the subject when using the mind trick. If he moves, blast him. Oh, my pleasure. All right, BD. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Breakthrough we were hoping for. Years of fighting. Nothing we've done has slowed them down. What did you expect? You lost. The Republic is dead. It was killed by politicians just like you. Do you think I wanted Utapau to join the Empire? The compromises I made created a future for my people. I've been to Utapau, Senator. They spit your name out like a curse. At least they are alive. Why fight when you can't win? <sighs> Surrender. Same song and dance routine we've heard so many times. But sweetens with time. Free me. And we'll cut a deal. No, Senator. Someday when your children see this. Well, know the Jedi never stopped fighting for them. How disappointingly naive. Hey, the twins are getting that ravenous look. Let's wrap it up before we have another Corita incident on our hands, yeah? What about him? He's coming with us. Okay, let's take their food to go. Coruscant Underworld. The lower levels of the galactic capital, Coruscant, are insalubrious and dangerous, where there is no such thing as an honest living. Even a simple diner must pay tithes to local gang bosses, and a bribe is as valid currency as a blaster bolt. Oh, the Clone Wars! The Clone Wars began with the first battle of Geonosis and grew into a galaxy-wide conflict, fought between the Galactic Republic and the Confederacy of Independent Systems. It consumed the galaxy for three years. Okay, so so what was that ten-year period before the Clone Wars, then? What was that called? Because I thought the, uh, the Republic and the Confederacy of Independent Systems were fighting each other during the time of Phantom Menace. Because ten years passed between uh, Phantom Menace and... Uh, the Battle of Geonosis with, uh, with, with Attack of the Clones. Hmm. The war finally ended when the Confederacy's leaders were cornered and defeated, which coincided with the Jedi Order, who had fought as generals for the Republic, being branded as traitors and executed en masse. In the aftermath, the Republic was restructured into the Galactic Empire with the newly ascended Emperor Palpatine at its head. Yeah. And Anakin was the one that killed the Confederacy's leaders when he cornered them on Mustafar, on Palpatine's orders. The Galactic Empire emerged from the reorganization of the Galactic Republic following the Jedi Purge, and is ruled by Emperor Palpatine. Increasingly autocratic and brutal, the Empire's authority derives no longer from diplomacy, but by the marching of stormtrooper columns. The Galactic Senate, also known as the Imperial Senate, is the governing body of the Empire, and before that, the Republic. Since the transition to Empire, the Senate's power has slowly been chipped away, and now many Senators find themselves indulging in corruption to recoup the political power they've lost. And in Episode 4, A New Hope, the Imperial Senate was uh, disbanded entirely, so it no longer exists, and was likely reinstated when the New Republic took over. Stolen treasures, trophies and keepsakes from various planets controlled by the Empire, collection befitting a connoisseur of galactic curiosities. They were no doubt taken forcefully from their planet of origin. Huh. Aren't those the Zepho? Those look like the Zepho. Kill me. Oh, I don't know about that. 
Depends on whether you cooperate. That's a skill senator's prize, right? Cooperation. Batisa! Batisa! Puta! <laughs> we get what we need? Yeah. Wonder what Saul has for us next. First, we gotta get this intel topside. You'll pay for this, Cal Kestis. Let me go, or your friends will suffer. They'll find you sooner or later, Jedi. We got a plan for the Senator? Still thinking it through. We could always ask Coop and Liz to see whether the Senator can fly. Is there time for a quick tour of Sejan's terminal? I could see if the Senator's got anything else we could use. And by we, you mean dirt you can sell to make some credits? You can fight the good fight and still get yours along the way, Cal. That's war. Maybe next time. Fine. <laughs> but lunch is on you, and the twins are starving. These senators have the good life. Mind if I take his yacht? This thing's too slow for you. It'll be my weekend ship. Me and the family. Fine. You're no fun. Never been in a senatorship before. Blew one up once. Good times. Huh, you remind me of that um that guy who uh Finn and Rose find on that planet. I forget what he was titled as. Was he, was he like a decipherer, a encoder, whatever? <laughs> I don't remember. She reminds me of that guy. Oh wow, they just teleported right into the cutscene. I've changed my mind. We should always target the Empire. Yeah. Feels good to make a difference. No. They're loaded. Filthy rich. Make the huts look clean by comparison. I bet this senator has more credits. <laughs> that frame rate. An inquisitor. What? I thought we killed you. You died. You died. We cut off your arm. I thought we killed you. You gotta be kidding me. And they say dang fairy, that's nice. <laughs> Just like Mandalorian. And they're dead. Wow. Kel, gotta go. Kel, come back. Kel, you Why are you being blinded by vengeance, dude? What is this? Dude, what are you doing? What were you overcome by the dark side? What was that? Equipped with an assortment of exploration tools and an unshakable loyalty to Cal, BD is the Jedi's closest friend. I can't believe the Nine Sisters alive. I thought she was dead. Gotta get to the Mantis. A syndicate trained slicer, Gabs doesn't mind enriching herself while taking on the Empire. Confident and gutsy, Gabs takes every opportunity to demonstrate their superiority over Imperial slicers. Bravo, the pilot of Cal's crew. Bravo is a veteran soldier who fought alongside Saul Guerrera. Cal and Bravo have run many successful missions together in their struggle against the Empire. The Klaatuinian twins, Goob and Liz, 
would do anything for their friend Cal. Their loyalty is only matched by their insatiable hunger, which often gets them into trouble. Yeah, they literally feel like the Gamorians from Boba Fett. Uh-oh. I do not remember probe droids ever moving towards you like that when they were about to suicide. In Jedi Fallen Order. Jump towards marked walls to perform a wall jump. Okay. So that was just weird, introducing those characters only to kill them off. That was very odd. I'm not upgrade yet. I want to save my skill points for uh, other abilities. Oh. oh, great, this one has guns. Wow, that's the same moveset from Jedi Fallen Order. Oh, nice tracking. And it delayed its attack enough to catch me when I was about to roll. Oh! That was very sloppy. I still don't understand why Cal just decided to give in to Vengeance and try to take on the Ninth Sister. That was very odd. Oh! You do not get a lot of range when you do that dodge. Oh god! That amount of range it gets! You can pretty much kill this guy over and over again and just get a lot of experience. And he's right next to the save point. So yeah, they never had a gun in uh, Jedi Fallen Order. They, they just attacked you like that. Oh god. There we go. That went well. Um, now we're to... Okay, there's a grapple point right over there. Uh, it knows where I am. Nice that they die instantly. They didn't actually die instantly when you did that in uh, Jedi Fallen Order. The wall jumps are pretty clunky. Because you kind of jump away from the wall and then you have to re-engage a Jedi flip. That just seems kind of clunky. Oh shit! A purge trooper! These guys should be similar. I believe they did the same kind of move in, uh, in Jedi Fallen Order. Well, that was a piece of cake. Not today. So the enemies have pretty similar movesets, so that's nice to see. Can't say I'm a big fan of this illumination mechanic. I just kind of wish it just did it automatically when your lightsaber was out. And is that what I think it is? No, it isn't. It's something else. What is this? Force Essence. Wasn't Force Essence a thing in Jedi Fallen Order? I can't remember. But I was thinking more so of uh, the Force Unleashed, because they were very similar looking uh, 
Force Essences and Force Unleashed, I believe. He's in here somewhere. We'll find him. Be ready. Hold R1 and press circle to temporarily confuse an enemy into fighting their allies. Protect me. Okay, so it's like Revenge of the Sith, only it works so much better because Revenge of the Sith was stupid. And I'm talking about the PS2 version. Or the Xbox version. But you had to hold R2 for a certain amount of time. And then the enemy would uh, fight for your side, but it was a completely useless mechanic. Revenge of the Sith is a very clunky game, and it's not a good Star Wars game, honestly. There may be some appeal to the boss fights, but I don't really think so, because... The boss fights are so badly designed, because the combat was terrible in Revenge of the Sith. I have Revenge of the Sith on my PS2, and I also have it for my Xbox Series X. Maybe I'll do content of uh, Revenge of the Sith, but it, it's just not worth it, honestly, because it is a really bad game. It is terrible in everything that it does. I don't have a... Uh... Could you instantly kill enemies like that in Fall in Order? I don't remember. These enemies do not set a chance against the double blade lightsaber. That is nice. Okay. Oh god. Oh, why is the camera reset button tied to the lock on? That's so stupid. I hate that. There we go. Hour to I'm done with this place. Uh, this looks like I feel like this is a boss fight. Yeah, this really feels like a boss fight. This is not going to be good. Bode is alive. Cal, good to see you. All right. Spoke too soon. I'll take the Inquisitor. Keep that other gunship off my back. On it. We gotta take her out. This is going to be a fight. Oh boy. I still wonder why Cal isn't questioning how she's alive. That's the same move from Fallen Order. Wrong button. Oh, 
Oh shit! I think that move was also in Fallen Order as well. Oh god! That was in Fallen Order too. Kestis, I can sense it. All the guilt you're feeling for those fools you led to their deaths makes you so, so predictable. Okay. I. Ah, uh, I missed out on the option to use the. God damn it! I completely forgot what the mind control trick was. That's a nice shortcut. Yeah, from software would never have the intelligence to do what this game just did. Oh, I remember that, and I somehow got my stuff restored, not entirely sure how. Oh! Gotta really watch her moves carefully when, that, when she counterattacks. I cannot get past that force push. I normally can in, in Jedi Fallen Order, but this time I can't. I... It won't let me. Is she using, um... What is it called? She's using some kind of move to sense what I'm going to do, like Future Sight. Oh, that's different. That was not in Jedi Fallen Order. That was in Jedi Fallen Order. God damn it, that move. Oh shit! Yeah, how, how do you counter that future sight? She she knows what I'm going to do. What do I do? I don't know what to do. I guess I just have to wait it out. At least she can't use her left hand. Oh shit! Oh god! Nice, he split his lightsaber. Dual stance acquired. So in Jedi Fallen Order, this was restricted to a special uh, attack rather than being its own stance. So this should be interesting. Let's see what this does. Oh, 
she didn't like that one bit, and now she's using your future sight again, so I can't attack her. What is this move called in in Star Wars? Hold triangle to automatically parry most attacks, including projectiles. Requires force. Oh, it's the same move she used. Asana? You were a Jedi Knight before you betrayed our order. Asana Tide. Has he connected to her? Psychologically? Through the Force? Is that how he knows? It's time to set you free. Oh, that frame rate did not look very good. That was a fun fight. I did like that. Yeah. I still don't understand how she was alive. I thought we killed her in Jedi Fallen Order. We sliced her arm off. And does she have like congenital insensitivity to pain? Because she didn't feel anything, it seems. A son of Tide, known as the Ninth Sister of the Inquisitorius, craved revenge after being defeated by Cal years before. The heist, the luck of rogue Jedi, Cal Kestis, seemed at last to have run out, finding himself in the custody of Coruscant security force troopers intent on selling him to a corrupt senator. The senator, Daho Sehan, hoped to use the Jedi to gain favor with the Emperor. Yet the exchange was a setup, a lure to give the Jedi a chance to steal valuable intel from the senator's yacht for Sagarera. After a frantic chase through level 2046, Cal obtains the intel, but it is far from good news. The Empire is everywhere, seemingly unstoppable, and now their years-long struggle seems hopeless.